here. Well, actually, it, it was quite fun because I started with this because I saw something in SQL Ninja, and I said, "Oh, but I can use it to be to make this." I tried to make this. I failed to make it work with VNC, and the other guy from SQL Ninja make it work with VNC. This is the the good thing about open source and this kind of community that contributes. Uh, we also have a W3IF agent. This, all this stuff is advanced exploitation. We are doing this because uh, we can and because it's fun. Uh, the W3IF agent started with the idea of doing what the Core Impact uh, tool does. These guys from Core Impact are really slick and they did a cool, a cool thing called syscall proxying. I tried to do it and also failed. So I changed my mind I, and started to do this. The W3F agent is a VPN, VPN that uh, connects back from the remote uh, server to the attacking machine and you have complete uh, access to the local area network of the remote uh, web server where this is run. So in the, in the attacker machine you are going to have a SOX proxy listening and every connection that's made through the SOX proxy is going to be routed through the remote web server and going to be routed, for example, to a secure shell server in some DMC. So WPAF, after exploiting a web application vulnerability, will send the, the client. The client will, do, will perform a reverse connection to the server and somebody using a SOX client through the server we do a connection to a secure shell server in the remote network. Uh, things that don't work in this agent are UDP traffic, raw sockets, and sniff. Uh, yes, and sniffing. Uh, UDP traffic is something that at least I don't know. Uh, can't be routed through SOX proxies. And things that won't work are raw sockets and sniffing because it's a VPN and we are connected that way. Uh, what we are doing about web 2.0? Uh, this is really hard because analyzing JavaScript is hard, it's really hard. We have tried with different approaches, we tried with uh, different ways of analyzing, we also tried a static analysis of JavaScript that was a, the worst idea ever, and because JavaScript is so strange and can change and it has different versions and implementations for different browsers and it's, it's really a mess. So what we are doing now is we have a way of training the, the framework. You are going to be using a, a plugin. It's called Spider-Man. Spider-Man is going to uh, listen to, to listen on a port using a proxy server. And you have to configure your browser to browse through Spider-Man. Spider-Man will catch all the requests and responses and create the uh, fusible uh, objects so audit plugins can find the vulnerabilities. So this is a manual solution. You have to browse through all the site using the, the, your browser and the, the specific proxy. Um, it works, okay, so you can 
enable 10 discovery plugins and Spider-Man. And when the whole process ends, you're going to be uh, clicking on the, the web application. It's going, it's going to find all the links and all the JavaScript stuff. Uh, we also support JSON, so that's going to work. And that's about 2.0. Uh, okay. I want to talk about the, the future of this, this tool. We want to have some JavaScript automation. It's hard, but we know we can do it. We need and we are working on it. We are uh, working on a more stable core. Uh, like six months ago, if you were running WCIF, uh, 